Greetings, everybody. Radamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Radamont and Trust and Plays Project Zomboid Homestead, which originally streamed live on Twitch. This is episode 22. All right. I almost have the stuff walled up. Mother Nature is a strange creature. True. It is true. <laughs> Plot twist, you guys stream by but stream snipe by someone pretending to be a skinwalker. Oh man, that was uh that was such an eerie like everything. That was a that was a whole lot of nope. Leslie nope. Yeah, I have a tendency to sometimes sleep on my elbows where I push against my median nerve and then like I lose feeling to my um my arms completely because I pinched off the nerve and one time um, when I, you know years and years and years ago when I was living alone uh, my arm that was like completely deadened where I couldn't feel a thing must have slapped myself in the face like just dropped my own arm on my head so I woke up like in the middle of the night not really knowing what was going on but having felt like I got slapped really hard, which was uh, such an unnerving feeling. And then I get up and like run around my little apartment trying to figure out, was I slapped? And like, I kind of put it together once the adrenaline died down to being like, oh, you know what? I kind of don't have feeling in my left arm as much. I must have just like hit myself in my sleep. But that was such a weird feeling of like, <laughs> I want to be alone. I'm pretty sure I'm alone, but am I? <laughs> yeah. It's so scary. Yeah, it's really unpleasant. Because there's, like, a lot of vulnerability when you're like, I think there's someone out at, at there, but I can't prove it. So, uh-oh, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, you're going to have a lot of, like, random storage boxes. This is very utilitarian base here with no room for comfort. No, that's that's totally fine. Um, I can spice it up once the bare bones are done, though. I do plan on smashing the cabin to the ground, but I know that sometimes destroying vanilla buildings is weird. It's kind of weird, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but before you do that, let me let me get my posters off the walls. Okay. I put uh, a hedgehog. Over oh here. yeah, I saw. I, I like, like it. <laughs> yeah. He's uh he's attached to the broken ugly item sonic barrel. Oh, that's a good sign. Guac, thank you for the hydrate. Cheers, man. So are the crates up top sorted? I'll uh by the, the by task ones on the whatever. left are um, sorted by weapons. On the top we just have weapons. Mm-hmm. Um and you know, like machetes, nightsticks, whatever. The middle is all broken stuff, and the bottom is going to be guns and ammo. Okay. And then I'm working on. There is a lot of. So, yeah, th my original idea that I did not share was that each stack would be its own type of something. So you'd type have of like. Stuff. You know, you'd have your woodworking stuff stack and then your tailoring stack your with clothing and your whip guns stack or whatever just so that we okay. can know the stack to go to all um, right then then this uh the the northwest is all weapons cool and and it'll be sorted by that you know that way nice and then just trying to make it easier on you yeah and then you can have like a metalworking stack and a clothing and tailoring or you know, whatever, whatever you want. I'm just trying to lay it out so it's very easy. And, no, I uh, understand effortless. that. Let's see, that so this will be metal working up here then. That's electronics. How nice these crates are, though. Oh, look at this! I oh, this is where I'm sipping my coffee. Oh yeah. Oh, with intention. Mm -hmm. It's our uh, it's our nook. So, this house here, it's really interesting because the house that I was telling you about was similar to this. The bottom floor was all concrete because the area was prone to flooding. It was right next to the river. Mm -hmm. And the top was wood like this. 
Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it had it had a um, a gangplank and a balcony like this, and like you could s literally sit here on the balcony and sip coffee and shoot nice. turkeys. It was like it was a nice place until you know until whole... it was haunted. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> uh, no, Trustin doesn't want to die to ghosts, so bouncing, <laughs> understandably bouncing. Ooh, I got exerted. Look at well, me it, with that's... a limited lung capacity. It's gonna... So one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight stacks. Oh my lord. <laughs> the game. It, the game. The game's just like, I don't know what you mean by this poster, so <laughs> physics don't matter anymore. Haha. -ha. That, that was hilarious. Dear lord, that looked bad. In like a good way. I don't know how to put it, but you know what I mean. Oh, I fully know what you mean. It looked like maximum jank. <laughs> I just want to put this down somewhere. This game is like not on the walls, you won't. Yeah, may there's really nowhere that you can put it that doesn't... Because I have a lot of windows and whatnot, so heck, everything is pretty called for. But there's, there's like, oh, yeah. a couple spots. There's a couple yeah. spots. I see you, like, fumbling through the windows, trying to get to it. Are you trying to tag my house? Is, yeah. is that what we're doing here? Yeah, there you go. There we go. I did it. <laughs> did it. Worth everything. Also, if you guys are in chat, shameless plug here. That link they just posted up there has my YouTube. I put out two CFD videos today. So if you're looking to get your hands on the Sea Dogs Lantern, there is a two minute how to guide. Everything you need to know to get that very cool looking lantern. The end of plug. Shaking and moving. My man That's trusted. That's what I'm doing. Mostly shaking. <laughs> so here's my shameless plug. Uh, Yoda's only hams account can be found. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say his only hams account? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Only hams. Uh, what did you think I said? He likes, he that's... likes pork. That's what I thought you said. That's why I made it so great. Yeah. All right. So that's our gardening area. This will be our leatherworking, uh, and then medicine. I'm gonna put medicine. Uh, no, I won't put it downstairs. Do you want me to like make a bathroom? Because I could do that and if, have have a. I mean, I could go into town. I still need to get. Yeah, you we we can stuff. we can loot up. You know what we should do. We need a Rick Sanchez bathroom. We need, like, a toilet that's just on the roof that looks out to everywhere with no privacy whatsoever. I am down to yeah. clown. Yep. Uh, also, what is going on with the floating, um, <laughs> the hedgehog? They're just floating there. <laughs> it what gave me is an opportunity. going on? It gave me an opportunity to do it, so I did. <laughs> you just put it on the air. It's sticking out of the wood container there, okay? Why do they walk so slow? Why do who walk so slow? Me? Me? Are you calling me fat? I don't know. Someone in my chat's calling me fat. I'm and offended. you know, I walk slow because I'm fat. So like, you know. I have never, oh. I have never been more offended in my life about anything than I am right this moment. All right, so I quit. All I'm know. not walking anymore. I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here Good. in the rain. You've never played this game before? 
Um, is a fun game. So who is they, and what do you mean by slow? Because there's a lot of words that you use that aren't well defined. <laughs> I'm going to go to my reading nook, which is um, not protected by... I don't know if I'm getting rained on or not. That's fine. It's really hard to tell. It Like, I want this balcony in real life, though. It's nice. Right now, why am I walking slow? Because, like, walking... I could sprint, but it takes effort. Unlike almost every other game in the world, you can't just run around forever in this game. You have endurance, and you yeah. get tired and can't do things when you wear yourself out, so... Walking slow is kind of the thing to do. Otherwise, you just get way too tired to do stuff. And it's not fun. Yeah, it consumes right. energy. Exactly. Yep. Uh, up here, you have in the top right, you have moodlets. And you'll, you'll get exerted. And the thing, if you're exerted or tired in this game, it is basically means if anything attacks you, you're dead. Because if you're really tired, you just can't fight anymore. So... It's a it's very, a, very good way yeah. to just die. Uh, I'm going to do a weapons check here. Oh, this axe is almost busted. Um, I'm going to swap it out for an Dear axe. Dear lord, I, I cannot one. lose weight. I have, like, not been eating at all. Bro. And my weight hasn't changed at all. Listen, same in real life. I've plateaued and it sucks, all right? Ugh. <laughs> Like, I'm aware of what's going on, but I'm not happy about it, okay? Also, when you sprint in this game, uh, especially if you you're sprinting through the woods, you can trip and, like, break your leg. So, yeah. sprinting around is very bad idea. That and, like, I can't seem to sprint. I don't know what happened, but, like, I physically I, cannot. I can't either. It's so weird. It's like a multiplayer thing. Where it's like, sorry, but... You've exceeded the speed limit of the game. <laughs> do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Oh, right. right. I remember what I was doing. I'm an idiot. It is, what, 1120? Mm-hmm. So, you want to pull for tomorrow? Yeah. Let me, let me throw out the poll. What did you say to add on to it? I forget. Um, I if, said something? If, I don't know. Did you? I don't, I don't oh, know. Add, add another car oh, to the like collection. Oh, like bathroom stuff. If we want bathroom stuff. Alright, so... No ma'am. No ma'am. Oh, did you hear her? Yeah, dude. Dude, he's been non-stop. Like, no, I, I didn't actually hear her. I just extrapolated from the ruckus. and Like, there was no clear words. I just sort of assumed. Because <laughs> it's such a no, given you, now. <laughs> you, you, you made a good assumption. Yeah. I assumed there were some no ma'ams going on in the background, and uh, I assumed correct. It was... Uh, I find it endearing. Truly. You know... <laughs> so there's a poll going on. Hey, what's up, JD? Welcome on in. There's a poll going on. Need one of those trucks, man? Yeah. Oh, that's right. If we're going to add another car to the collection, is we're going to go try to search for one of the big trucks. But we have a big truck. Oh, military truck. Yeah. If we don't, like, we'll... Shoot, I don't even know where they'd spawn it. I guess they could spawn anywhere. Probably near the checkpoint to LV is what I would assume. That like, up that way. Far. It is far. I'm gonna take as much of this stuff as I can and sort it out of the shed into the house. I'm a roofer. That was my best Mainer impression. You did. Mainer. You did good, kid. Finish what you start. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to get some more door hinges. That's absolutely correct. You're not wrong on that aspect. Well, you don't need to do anything. It really depends on what the union votes for. 
That's true. No, no. Uh, uh, Kadath said that I need to finish what I start, and he voted on going and getting hinges. And I'm like, yeah, that's you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. I don't know. The base is. Uh, I'm nearly done. I'm also nearly out of wood, which is seems nutty to me. That's but I'm ne bizarre. I'm nearly done. Um, just a few finishing touches here and there. But it, uh, I like how it came together. I, I think it looks great. Does that spiffo sign glow? If it does, that's amazing. It, like, I don't think it's actually glowing, but it definitely looks like it's putting off some light, which is weird. Are we in, um... We should have listened to the radio. Like, I think this is a tropical storm or something, because it, it is feels, picking up. It feels strong. I'm on the roof with, like, a hammer. I feel unsafe. Thought if you were to bring a Jenny so you could fill it up? Uh, here. So our about, we are actually living off-grid. We do not have generators in this base. We're oh, not allowed to have God! Generators. What's happening? <laughs> I fell all the stories down. Oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Yep, nothing wrong. Nothing, nothing to see here. No OSHA violations whatsoever. <laughs> I could also chop down some more trees if we needed. Oh no. Oh, my shin bandage is already dirty again. It has oh, been no. um, 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need uh, a suture needle and. Um, yeah. Oh, so if, no. if, if you could if you could find a suture needle, that would be maybe helpful. All right, let me let me throw some of this stuff in here. Cause my shin bone is connected to my neck bone now. Oh no! And it, I wasn't born that way. <laughs> I don't even know what to say other than oh no. Oh no covers it. That would be correct. I was planning on doing something in the as part of this roof, and I didn't finish. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's I, saying it's the mall par, mall fall <laughs> part it's two. It's worse than the mall fall, because, like, right now I'm dying. Um, because I, I need to change killers? this bandage, like, now. Alright. Maybe I should stop constructing. Yeah, that should probably be... <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, workplace injury, let's take it serious. Watch me just, like, fall down the stairs again. <laughs> Please don't. I'm like a wet bandit now. Oh, man. Like from that movie Home Alone? Yeah, like from that movie Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find minutes. suture needles. Uh, I, I got think they're in the cabin. Okay, I got disinfected tweezers, some painkillers. Do you have, um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I need. Also upstairs, there's some meds that are... Uh, the second story. God, there's blood everywhere now. Shh. That, Not my that blood. fresh red blood. Mmm, tasty. I mean, what? Alright, uh, upstairs there's, there's some stuff. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, I don't live very long unless you bring it to me now, is all I'm gonna say. I don't- Do you have a bandage? Uh, like, I can't even find a bandage other than, like, yeah, leather yeah. strips, so. I got bandages. Okay. I'm grabbing Two. some leather strips. Okay. Alright, I'm coming to you. There you go. It's on the floor. There's that. There's that. Painkillers. Vitamins. A adhesive bandage. Yeah, and I'm a little past band-aid, but alright. I'm looking to see if I can find the suture needles, man. We we had them. I know for sure. I know. I know, because we got med kits. Alright. Let's remove this bandage and immediately exsanguinate. Oh, you know what? I don't even need a, a suture needle. I'm stitching it with my sewing needle, which is super <gasps> sketchy. But, I mean, you know, it's what you gotta do. Hey, look, I'm moving again. All right, uh, what I need is... Listen, we don't talk about it. Where is the cooking pot? I need to fill it with water and boil water. Sterilize. To ster yeah, to sterilize bandages. It should be in there, I think. That's the last place I saw it. I think I uninstalled the, uh... Yeah, so it's not gonna... I might have erased it. It's alright, I'll go look for one in town. So, what one was actually, um... The town, the town run again. 
So you can stay here and heal yourself. You can be on the mend. All right. And uh, if you are able to, could you repair my um, hatchet? Yeah, yeah, I could repair some stuff. All right. Let it's me in get the middle. some wood glue. I got some up here. I got one up here. Okay. Take the TV to the gas station so you can watch VHS. Um, we don't have any because tapes that we need to watch right now, though. Yeah, that's not a bad idea when we get some tapes. I do like that. So where it's upstairs, you said? Upstairs with the hedgehog. And Is I, it uh, obvious gonna... any of the hatches? Hatchets? Uh, yeah, it's going to be the, the salvaged one that I made. Oh, okay. I just repaired like yeah. a random one then. Your salvaged one. Nope. That is a metalworking thing. I oh, really? do not repair that with... Um, I can repair it with wow. duct tape. But it is mostly a scrap metal repair. So huh. you want me to duct tape it back together? Because like that's the best I could do. Let me, let me see what I can do. Oh, I can do it with scrap metal. Oh, dude, that's awesome. All right. Okay. I did repair the wood axe and a hand axe. To very good condition. Okay, I'll take the uh, the hand axe and pickaxe. Uh, what construction? What construction? Uh, what stack is construction? I haven't uh, gotten that far yet. Got um, it. How about this one? Sure, that one sounds good. All right, that done. One, that was now construction stuff. Well, I can walk. Well, that's good. One less thing. Yep. If I fall again, I'm dead, but, like, I can walk. I'm gonna make that fallproof. Uh, also, maybe something to find would be, like, a mop. Because, um... I, I... I may have... made a mess. By nearly We got dying. some bleach up here, which we can get at, uh... You know, we can we can clean that up at some point. Cool. I actually right. think like literally it needs to be a mop, if I recall. Yeah. For uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, for, we we have detergent, but yeah, we need a we need a mop to clean it up. You're absolutely correct. And the other issue is like, because now that I'm hurt, I probably need to be eating often. But I'm also fat, <laughs> so I also don't need to be eating often. Oh, there's I don't so there's know what a to do. whole um stack of food that I just found while looking for the sutra needle cool. which is like over here I don't know what's in it because uh, I right. didn't stop and look but there's like canned soup canned potatoes cool take uh, I'll take some reminds some you of when well. your brother stepped on a nail I've stepped on so many nails that's like par for the course but I've also stepped on a paring knife a point-up paring knife. That was a bit different than a nail. Nails, seems... uh, they barely bleed. You know, it's fine. It's annoying. You have to limp a little. It's not a problem. Stepping on a knife, however, um, you remove your arch to your foot completely, and then you have a lifetime of, like, weirdness as a result. So don't do it. If, uh, if I can advise you not to do that, definitely take the path of not doing that. That's all I'm going to say. Uh... <laughs> Yes, I agree. Yes. Take it from an stop. expert. It's not fun. Would not advise. Hand opener. You're hiding from me. Um. Oh, Margo peed and pooped outside like a big dog. What a good girl. There's more blood than there was last time. Excuse uh, you? There's more I'm blood. still oh because yeah I had to like take the bandage off Change and bandage. stitch it I, so that's I where understand. I stitched it. It had to uh, be. You know it happens. Right. Led like a stuck pig, and and instead of wishing me well, you complain about the blood. <laughs> you know, I wasn't the one doing the bleeding. Okay. Oh man. Typical bro code. Dude, stop bleeding on my stuff. It's like, I nearly died, but all right, thanks. Will do. That's, noted. That's, Definitely yeah. noted. 
that my near fatal bleed out was unwelcome to your Look, delicate it's sensibilities. Not it, it's not that it was unwelcome. It's just that I just bought this house. Okay. I I got you. That I should die in a fire at your soonest. I never <laughs> said that. Yeah, exactly. Right on, it's like, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. When, meanwhile, I'm like, hey, could you stop? There's blood everywhere. Listen, I ran around and tried to find yourself, find you a suture needle too, okay? I appreciate it. You, uh, you did try to help me. It would suck to lose all my skills. Yes, yes, it would. Yes, it would. But as someone who's done that multiple times, it's not that bad. I should probably just have the health tab up. Ooh, look, I'm gaining health. You know what heals uh, giant gaping deep wounds is, uh, is cigarettes, I've been told. Yeah, Yep. yeah. Just smoke away the care. <laughs> Everything's fine. The nicotine through my body makes me not care about that. You're right. I'm, I am not the carpenter. You are absolutely correct. Um, what is going on? I don't even... There's... I know that you're trying to go for organization, but there's just like random stuff all over the floors. I'm just going to ignore it. It's not my, yeah. not my problem. Yeah, I just threw stuff down because I wanted to try to get out to the town. Mm hmm. How's it um, going? It's. <laughs> As you're it's still here. Thing. It's a thing. Got it. But yeah, I just. Uh, I chucked that on the floor, and then there's uh, some, like, peroxide and stuff up mm -hmm. there on the floor as well for the bathroom area. Got it. Whatever. Yep. All right. I swear I had. So that's uh, rule the reason number two that you walk slowly because if you run around, you can also fall and die. And I nearly did that, even at walking speed. So imagine running speed and how bad you that would have been. You did uh, so you just started, I'm assuming, Ravenous, and uh, you keep getting wrecked by zombies on the first day. 20 plus zombies everywhere you spawn without any decent weapons to start. Yes. Shove that and is, stump. That is Project Zomboid. You gotta, you gotta strategically pick the zombies and just like Rodamon said, shove and stomp. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's why my word of advice as somewhat of a I wouldn't say a veteran, but some someone that has played a lot of Project Zomboid, don't try to do anything but just practice combat at the start, because until yep. you master combat, there is nothing, there's no reason to do any of the other game, which is boring, I get it, but until you can just survive against, I don't know, let's say a house full of zombies, like, there's nothing left to learn, there's nothing else to learn, because Without you knowing can. that skill, yeah. you can't enjoy the game. So get good at combat, which means get good at shoving them, kiting them, hiding from them, avoiding them, and killing them. And then once you have that down, you know, everything else falls into place. Like, uh, for example, you saw trying to get the generator. Like, that was, that was nothing but combat. Yep. And, uh... Tip of the day, get good. Yeah, yeah, you know. You said it, not me, bud. No, I'm just kidding. Because I, I, yeah, I remember it's... when I was first learning to play the game, and I was wandering around house to house and like looting them and collecting food and like trying to prepare for survival. But it's like, no, 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 no. Let's be real. When you're new to the game, you're not surviving long enough to have to hoard food. You're gonna die in the first 24 to 48 hours. You're not gonna starve in that time frame. You know, you're not gonna run out of power in that time frame. You're not going to need to grind your, like, tailoring skill or any of that jazz. So just focus on the fundamentals, which is, sort of, you know, fighting things. Because yeah. nothing nothing else matters until you're good at that. And yeah, like, I said. totally appreciate it makes for boring um, gameplay initially, but it's 
the it's you know the requirement of of enjoying it. And once you get it's to a point, to kill. yeah. No, he's saying it's uh, Ravenous is saying it's hard to kill zombies without a decent weapon. Um, oh yeah, you don't need a weapon. I mean, shove and stomp. You just need shoes. Yeah, good if, shoes. If you're barefoot, yeah, it's gonna be a little rough. But if as long as you're not barefoot, it's fine. Usually doing well to make it through the first week. Nice. Yeah. I remember my first time making it through the first week. I was super, super happy. Um, I actually still have that character saved. Penny Coins is her name. What? She was uh, an accountant by day and a spicy dancer by night. Made by Queerzilla, believe it or not. Very nice. Yeah. Very mem memorable when you, you make it. Yep, I still have uh, I still have that character, and I know exactly. She's in the uh, the warehouse at uh, Riverside. Right. It's funny that that would be my advice because that's like identically what my advice would be for learning any game with survival mechanics is like until you get good at the basic survival mechanics there's nothing else to do yeah i mean well it's it's e it's verbatim the advice i was giving to people trying to learn tarkov it's like to enter every fight like pick every fight and just get yourself killed over and over and over because until you're good at killing targets it's you're just a loot pinata running around with other people's loot on your body and they're just going to take it from you before you escape. So, get good at making them not take it. Get good. Yeah. Get good at murder, murder, murder. But it's true. Look at them trying to hug you. They love me. Oh, hello, Ossifer. I do find it interesting that, like, s such a high percentage of the police in this game look like stateies, but there's no yeah. state highway around. Have you noticed that? I've noticed. I have noticed that. All right, I got to clean up my mess that I made, which is dragging every zombie in existence to the gas station. That's also the tips for battle royales. Yeah. Push everything and get get absolutely wrecked constantly, I mean, and you'll eventually get good. Or you won't, and you'll quit. But, like, you won't enjoy the game until you can pick fights. So, pick all fights. That's basically what I did uh, with Sea of Thieves, too, man. I solo slooped it until I was comfortable enough to, uh, you know, engage with duos. You play you play on the hard mode until you're okay at, uh, mm -hmm. you're you're not even okay but like you just have an understanding. God, not this again. The whole sorry but will magically not allow you to construct anymore cuz you can't path to it. They're magically delicious. What are you doing, are you crap man? Okay, I'll just grab the uh, sledgehammer <laughs> and let the sledgehammer sort this out. Illegal. Stop resisting. That's what the cop said to me, and then I smacked him in the face with an axe. <laughs> they might have been called in to help with the event. Oh, that's a really good theory. Yeah, that, that makes is, a lot of, more sense. That was uh, that's a good one. I like that. I think that's gonna be the one I go with. Yeah, there's a lot of police presence because they were trying to stop people from leaving. This they were they were trying to stop jesters broadly at everything. Yes, the apocalypse, and it didn't go so well for them because you know there are now zombies and there's two of us, and we smash those <laughs> stadies up like it's our job. I almost feel I mean, bad because you know they were just trying to help. 
They just wanted to go home to their, their wife and kids, or their husband and kids, or whatever, partner and kids, but nope. They get to be smushed by us underfoot as we stomp them into the second afterlife. Somebody's got an alarm clock going off here. It's very... <laughs> not cool, guys. Yeah, your character looks very panicked about that alarm. I need to ask them questions. I do. They don't ever respond with the correct answers, though. That was some of the most satisfying murdering I've done in a long time. Sweet. So if zombies refuse to stop, you grab a stop sign and smack them in their face. Yeah, you know, clearly there's an issue with their, uh, with their literacy. So I'm trying to do my best as a teacher to educate them on how to read. It's, uh, it's very kind of you. Thank you. Trying to educate the uneducatable. That's, you know, literally what I did for... <laughs> yep. Good... <laughs> <laughs> you relate to that on a deep and disturbing <laughs> level, I realize. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, man. That was good. I'm actually going to change the design here. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm going to smash this with a sledgy. Oh, it's going to be so hard to change this design, though. Holy hell. I'm not looking forward to that. That's what you do? It is exactly what you do, Velocity. Try to educate the people that are deemed not able to be educated. So if you could try to find uh, a cooking pot that I've, like, screwed up. Yeah, okay. That, that would be another be, on the list. Because be on my list. cooking's going to be really difficult. Otherwise, yeah. Let me try to get some of these guys. Let me give them a case of the deads here real quick, you know. Feels pretty cramped. What does? The uh, the house here? You can always expand upon it. But, um... I'm trying to make it so that I just, I'm not building for like four straight hours. I'm trying to put something together that's reasonably efficient and somewhat aesthetic within a time frame that isn't horrifying for a viewer. Let's see here. Tab. Exclamation point flex on them kids. Also, if anybody's curious, my kill count is currently 872. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Hunter, how you doing? Malhawk, got you, bro. Save one link right there. Do skills decay to... in the game? They do not, unless you die. In that case, they decay pretty quickly. Everything, all at once. Yeah. The zero skill decay is really, really, really nice until you bite it. Yeah, then it's really, really frustrating. How would you label the crates? Up here in your mind. I suppose there's, like, mods for signs and the like. Um... That, that would be pretty reasonable. But we don't have anything like that, so... We just have to memorize what they're for. Uh, are there TV shows for skill boost? Yeah, the first seven days... I think it's seven. Mm -hmm. um, they come on at 6 a.m., noon, and 60, 1800. Uh, and there are various skills. Uh, there's carpentry, trapping, cooking... Um, you can you can give that a goog to get the specific uh, days and times that shows come on. Oh, am I dismantling the stairs here? I feel like I was. I'm glad I stopped because I would maroon myself up here with no ability to hop down because of my injury. 
You're doing good there. Yeah, I did see that that mod in uh, in Discord, and it looks like it would be an interesting mod to try out. Um, generally, when I have a series running, I don't add or remove anything to it, um, just because you know we've got stuff currently working. Breaking it mid mid series is never a good thing. Yeah. Risk versus reward, all wrong. I thought this was a restaurant. I guess it's not. What are you at? Uh, just, just northeast of the gas station. Let me see what that is. That is that the motel? Oh, it's Knox Bank. Uh. Uh, Spiffo's is, is just a bit more northeast. That's where I thought I was going. The old spiffos. There should be a cooking pot in there or something to cook with in there. Hopefully. Go up here and get the truck. Yeah, I, I love Project Zomboid. It's built on, I believe, Java, right? Mm hmm. Uh, so, like, it's not necessarily the most reliable with things um you know if you get too many zombies you, you could lag out uh but overall it's a wonderful game and I, I do love the game but you have to understand there are limitations yep there's uh, a lot of engine limitations and other limitations and if you don't respect them uh <laughs> it doesn't matter the game doesn't care yeah just like the zombie biting your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a VHS store here. There's another one in Riverside, and there's three in Louisville. Or Louisville, or however you want to pronounce it. The old LV, baby. The old LV. Yeah, you know me. Down with the old LV. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, sorry. No, I was uh, trying to dismantle something, and I, my character didn't move, but I, like, teleported to a different floor of the the building. Ooh, potato. How the crops doing? Not a clue. That's uh, they're that's doing, Trustin's wheelhouse. Pretty good. He says pretty uh, good. Thank you. Spiffos has nothing. Thank you, Sally, for the sub. I if you end up getting this game, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you survive an average amount of time. <laughs> the banging sounds. And uh, added new ones. The amount of like jank that's happening here, I hope no one's watching because I'm having to like the um, the building engine here is just like we don't know what you're trying to build, so stop it. Screw you. It's really strange. There's a VHS store in March Ridge. Is there? I'm I'll be honest, I am not sure. Okay, if you say so. There might be. I thought there were six, but I couldn't find it on the map. But I believed that to be true. Alright, please let me build this from the other side. Please, please, please. Ow. Hell. Puppy treats. 
You were huge into Daisy in seven days. Yeah, this is very much like seven days. Uh, in some ways. I did it! I, like, hacked the gaming engine to allow me to do the thing I wanted to do. Hack the planet! It was kinda cool. I, like, the built planet. the window from the second floor with no line of sight as the to the window that I wanted to build. Oh, I don't no, know how else to I, explain it, but it was pretty cool. What did I do? What did you do? Um, yeah, that truck? You're never getting back in there. What the heck happened? What did you do, dude? That I, looks I, that looks awful. That, you you, I, you made. Am I gonna have to come bail you out or something? Cause that is horrible. Uh, maybe. Dear Lord, what did you do? You did it. You leave it running. Were you honking? No. Like, I don't think I. You left attracted it the everything. And I surely... Okay. Right. I can do this. You can do it? I can do this. Alright. Yeah, let me let me check the truck again. I believe in you. Nothing like a 1 a.m. monster attack. What the heck? It's gotta be still on. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense Is it right getting now. damaged? Yeah, they're probably I don't think they're... They're not smacking it up? No, because if they were, they wouldn't come to me immediately like this. Alright. Well, I'm gonna bolt. This was a very unsuccessful one. The oh, music man. is on point, though. I don't think I've heard this song before. Cool. I mean, you know, not that you're, like, surrounded yeah. and it's really, really bad, but... You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a hard maybe. <laughs> and all checks. What am I? How can I? Oh my lord. Alright, maybe I don't fix this. Because. Yeah, I'm not gonna fix this. Yeah, yeah, don't fix it. Oh my god. I have God's to dismantle like, oh. some fences, and like, there's just no way to know what I'm dismantling. I Without, like, ESP. Oh boy. Oh boy. I was I was watching that. Much clench. Glad you walked away cuz <laughs> Dear lord. Uh. Your character's level of panic can only be explained <laughs> as um Dude. alert. And I, I, I hear it in my, uh, I hear it in my headphones, too. The do -do 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 -do. Like your character fully believing that he's going to die. Yeah. Level of panic. Why won't let me uh, build a door? You know what? Ah, oh, this sucks. Maybe the hinges? Maybe it's a hinge problem. Ah. Uh. All right. It's not going to be pretty. I was going to try to build pretty, but I'm not building pretty anymore. Gloves are hey, off, you, game. Thank you for the follow. I'm trying to catch your name, but I'm I'm unfortunately not able to do so due to the amount of zombies behind me. It's silly, though. Yeah, you are in a pickle. It's pretty funny to, like, see what you've gotten yourself into. See ya! Wouldn't want to be a losers. And now I know why they were trying to clobber you today. Because I don't want to be them. Yep. And they were All offended. Right, I'm, I'm coming back to the base. I don't think I can do that solo. That was, that was too many. Oh. Holy cow got a bit of a limp, but I can escort you. Maybe. Now, I'll probably stay and do some organizational stuff until the morning. Yeah. And uh, definitely don't want you coming out here with your limp. No, I'm with down. Your, I don't with care. With your self-induced injury. 
Just a little, no, gravity. Gravity's to blame. Gravity induced injury. Yeah, exactly. I didn't that do anything. Sense. Gravity did it. Holy cow, that was Cruel so mistress, spooky. mistress gravity. I'm just trying to build the top of our roof so that we can stop having rainwater like leak straight into the base. But it is proving difficult because I am nearly out of building material, which just seems nutty. I know. That's that is pretty nuts. Who is also to see pretty what all the mayhem was? Well, I hope you were able to catch that. There was I'm I'm wagering a, a hundred fifty zombies there. That was a lot. A lot, a lot. It really done pissed them off, huh? But I did pick up a spiffo. A spiffo what? Just as a spiffo. I'm assuming a little spiffo doll. I got a couple Freddy the Fox. I got some more Boris and pancakes. So I guess overall, was I, I sent you out for a cooking pot and you came back with collectibles? Stuffed animals. Uh, well, all right, fine. Uh, how about at least... Action figures? Doorknobs? No, there was none of that happening. I was trying to break down doors in, in so, that... Uh, so, so I trusted you to get useful well, items, and you collected stuffed animals. You're like, you're a beanie baby collector now. Define useful, because when the population surges again after this apocalypse over, these things are going to be priceless, dude. You mean worthless? Priceless. They still have the tags worthless? on. Worthless? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Pre oh, pre apocalypse no. beanie babies. Oh, oh no, what? Uh, Do, I don't I, wanna know. I went too far and almost went a hundred miles an hour into a tree. <laughs> Look uh. out for that tree. <laughs> George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Alright, oh, okay. keep going. <laughs> I wanna hear the rest. Uh. <laughs> you did it! What, you think I have shame? I was a teacher turned streamer, bro. No shame. I am aware. I should I should not uh, second guess your shamelessness. It knows no bounds. Knows no bounds. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Homestead, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 25th. If you haven't yet checked out Trustin's channel, Links to his Twitch and YouTube can be found in the description of this video. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell. <laughs>